What did they make down here? What can I make? like this, who needs the view? I've made some inquiries into the Imperial Court. The sooner we deal with the threat to the Empress, the better. The political situation in the Empire is dangerously unstable. It will complicate matters. Everything in the Empire complicates matters. It's the Orlesian national pastime. Turn your nose up at the grand game if you like, Commander. But we play for the highest stakes, and to the death. The Court's disapproval can be as great a threat as the Venatori. We must be vigilant to avert disaster.
Exactly what do you mean? How is it more dangerous than usual? The Empress is in the middle of a civil war. Her cousin, Grand Duke Gaspard, seeks to take her throne by force. Leliana reports that a group of elves has been sabotaging both armies, drawing out the hostilities. Orle holds Tevinter at bay. All of Thedas could be lost if the Empire falls to Corypheus. Selene is holding peace talks under the auspices of a grand masquerade. Every power in Orle will be there. It's the perfect place for an assassin to hide. Does Selene know about the threats against her? Can we send word? I've sent messages to the Empress, but it's impossible to know if she's received them. We don't have enough sway with the court to arrange an invitation. Perhaps a few more alliances. Or well, soldiers. We need a greater presence in Orle. And soon. Inquisitor, I was just inspecting our new headquarters. Foundation cracks, nesting animals, and miles from any centers of civilization. The staff must make it presentable if we are to receive any visitors of distinction. Our allies shouldn't expect luxuries when they sign on to fight the first Darkspawn. There is a difference between luxury and a building with no holes in the walls. The Templars will be scrutinizing your leadership. They should feel secure here. I'm more concerned about reinforcing Skyhold in case Corypheus attacks again. I've... Had difficulty forgetting his assault on Haven. Do you know who first leapt to arms? Our workers. They were so proud of our cause. Corypheus simply cut them down. So much screaming after that first burst of fire. So many people turned to ash. Corypheus will pay when I face him again. I dearly hope that happens soon. Well. Before I return to my duties, allow me to congratulate you on your appointment as Inquisitor, my lord. I will now bring diplomatic issues to your attention, and I'm more than happy to help with any situations that arise. I'm loath to part from such pleasant company. Would you care to walk the castle with me? Oh, well, a tour then? Let me fetch the steward. That isn't precisely what I was hoping for. Well, do let me know if you change your mind. Now I must find someone to prepare the guest quarters. Inquisitor, is it true? Is the mark on your hand magic cast by Corypheus? Corypheus claimed it's a spell gone wrong. I wanted to think it was a blessing. A sign the Maker was returning to his creation. How credulous of me. Perhaps the Maker set these events in motion so long ago, we can no longer see his hand in them. It would be fitting if that were true. Does it hurt? The anchor, that is. It looks strange, but it hasn't done me harm. If it did come from Corypheus, that's a small mercy.
to work? At your service. What may I do for you? What do the people make of us? Despite our fame, we're low on said vast allies. We must aim for more. Any visiting dignitaries I should watch out for? You may see the Countess Lutetia in the halls. A lovely woman, but her conversation sent towards the unusual. She's the patron of Orlais' greatest naturalists. The Countess's particular passion is collecting butterflies. That doesn't sound unusual. She goes into great detail about preserving them. It seems to involve large amounts of chemicals and pins. Greetings. Let's speak later. Goodbye. Inquisitor, tell me, how does it feel? How does what feel? Being you. Are you blissfully unaware? Or deep inside is some part of you banging on the walls, screaming? If you have a problem, say it. I don't have time for your feelings. Of course. Any criticism must be the crazy knife ear whining. Although I should watch my tone. I speak to a demigod after all. The Chosen of Andraste. Do you enjoy the worship? Does it make you feel infallible? Or do you see them as fools, gullible for their belief? I don't get to be picky about the tools I use. If the story gets me more allies for this fight, I'll use it. You're not gaining allies. You're gaining minions. Sheep driven by one false god to fearfully follow another. I should thank you, Inquisitor. I had spent time with few of your people before this. From the stories, I thought you all thuggish, simple and crude. Now? Now I know I was right. You have no idea what a comfort that is. Uh. How entirely expected. By your leave, Inquisitor. Yes? I'd like to know more about you, Solus. There is little to tell. What I learned in my studies may help you. My childhood in a village to the north. The fate of this world depends on you, Inquisitor. And to that end, I offer my aid. But my life is my own. Are you ever concerned that you've turned your back on your people? I have done no such thing. I simply see no way to help the elves, oppressed as they are now.
With your power, you could do something. I've seen you in battle. Who would I attack? A gate guard? What if he felt sorry for the poor knife he is under his watch? Or the lord who rules the city? Would his death at an elven apostate's hand lead to better treatment for elves? There is no simple solution. I think you know that. Why attack me for knowing it as well? Goodbye. What do you need? Tell me something. Do you care about anything in the world beyond the Fade? Ah. Ah? The Inquisitor turns his hawk-like gaze to me, penetrating deep into my most secret desires. Only not. I care deeply for many things beyond the fate, just not you. You're gonna want to watch that attitude, Solus. Why? Do you have another expert on the fate hiding around here? Are you absolutely certain you won't need me? I volunteered to help Inquisitor. Rattle the bars if you like, but I chose to enter this cage. Brilliant, isn't it? One moment you're trying to restore order in a world gone mad. That should be enough for anyone to handle, yes? Then, out of nowhere, an archdemon appears and kicks you in the head. What? You thought this would be easy? No, I was just hoping you wouldn't crush our village like an anthill. Sorry about that. Archdemons like to crush, you know. Can't be helped. I suppose a proper introduction is called for, now that we're not running for our lives. Dorian of House Parvis, most recently of the Tevinter Imperium. I was at Redcliffe when the Venatori assumed command of your southern mages. I only wish I could have given more warning. What you did for us at Haven was very brave. It was, wasn't it? Throwing in my lot with the underdogs? That's me. I always assumed the elder one behind the Venatori was a magister. But this is something else completely. In Tevinter, they say the Chantry's tales of Magisters starting the Blight are just that. Tales. But here we are. One of those very Magisters. A Dark Spawn. Who does the Imperium say started the Blight? You know how it is. Not us. They say Dark Spawn were always there. Magisters and the Blight aren't even related. Is that a surprise? No one wants to admit they shit the bed. But if Corypheus is one of the Magisters who entered the Black City and he's Darkspawn, what other explanation is there? Clearly the Imperium has no idea. The Imperium is a land of lies built upon secrets, built upon falsehoods. I knew what I was taught couldn't be the whole truth, but I assumed there had to be a kernel of it. Somewhere. But no. It was us all along. We destroyed the world. So you'll just stand here and whine about it then? I could head south, try to stop the Venatori myself, spread a warning when they march. Wait! I already did that! I have no intention of letting Corypheus win. Not without someone from Tevinter standing against him. If it's all the same to you, I'd like to stay and help the Inquisition. You'd really fight your own countrymen. Southerners like to think of the Imperium as nothing but slavers and cultists. Why not? That's all you see. But it's not true. Some Tevinters are not only handsome and well-dressed, but rather put off by all that rot. So, I'll happily kill cultists or anyone who thinks a darkspawn god is the way of the future. What if this is a ruse? The Venatori could have captured you, sent you here. Rather elaborate, considering they'd need to have assumed you'd escape Haven. But I am the ideal spy. Charming, clever, perfect teeth and hair. It all fits. How about this? Let me help, and you can hang me later, if you wish. I look good in rope. 
We can use all the help we can get. No one will thank me, whatever happens. No one will thank you, either. You know that, yes? That's not why I'm doing this. I knew there was something clever about you. All I know is this. Corypheus needs to be stopped. Men like him ruined my homeland. I won't stand by and let him ruin the world. Oh, and congratulations on that whole leading the Inquisition thing, by the way. Roderick, that Chantry fellow who led us through the mountain from Haven. You know he died, I assume. Got us as far as the camp, and then... that was it. I can't say I feel sad about that. He was... I've heard. I helped him walk. He... talked about you quite a bit. He just needed to be sure you were on Draste's Chosen. He was terrified of what it meant, if it were true. But in the end, he believed. He asked me to tell you he was sorry. He shouldn't have judged me so quickly. Even the best of us have been guilty of that, no? Anyway, we can talk about something else if you'd rather. There must be some reason you haven't left. You can't want to stay. Why? I have to be fond of you to agree with what you're doing. I do think you blunder about, Inquisitor, thrashing like a caged dragon at everything that displeases you. I still believe Corypheus needs to be stopped, and that I need to be here to help stop him. Oh, you think you'd be such an immense help against Corypheus? If you'd let me, yes. I have every reason to put my life on the line here. Corypheus is... was a magister. He represents everything dark and terrible in my country. I have to help. Even if it means I stand on the sidelines watching, I'll do it. I need to know he's defeated. If that's meaningless to you, then tell me to go and I will. No, I'm not asking you to leave. Excellent. Then let's not belabor it further. Did you know we're actually related, Inquisitor? Related? Oh, not first cousins or anything like that. Can you imagine? You're a Trevelyan, however, and somewhere in dank nethers of my family tree, there was also a Trevelyan. Perhaps he was even the one who ventured to Ostwick to establish the branch. We are talking long ago, of course. I'd rather we weren't related. That might make flirting awkward. Depends on which branch of the family you come from. <laughs> Regardless, I think we're still good to go, by at least three ages. It occurs to me that I barely know anything about you. Beyond my being a mage from Tevinti, you mean? Beyond that, yes. And beyond my being so charming and well-dressed, which is obvious to anyone. I'm well aware of your finer qualities, believe me. Of course I believe you. The moment I saw you, I thought... There's a man who knows quality. Now, what was I talking about? Ah, yes, me. I am the scion of House Parvus, a product of generations of careful breeding and the repository of its hopes and dreams. Naturally, I despised it all. The lies, the scheming, the illusions of supremacy. That's Tevinter in a nutshell, isn't it? Needless to say, my family was not happy with my choices. Why would your family be upset with your choices? Because I rejected their idyllic plan. If they had their way, by now I'd be married to some unlucky girl from a powerful family. We'd live in luxurious despair, despising each other as I waited to take my father's place in the magisterium. I declined the honor, and thus it's best I'm far from home. Less of an embarrassment that way, you see. What did you mean by generations of careful breeding? families of Devinter don't have children. They refine traits, weed out the undesirable, and promote the rest. My mother was chosen for my father because magic runs strongly in her blood. Never mind that they loathed each other. They wanted a son who could become Archon to make House Parvus the envy of the Imperium. 
They got me. A cautionary tale that you should be careful what you wish for. I'm getting the impression you don't care much for your homeland. On the contrary. I care for my homeland a great deal. There's so much potential. Sadly, we squander it. We refuse to acknowledge how far we've fallen because pretending is easier. We pretend the Canari can be beaten. We pretend that we're superior to everyone, even our own people. Not everyone feels that way. I don't. Sadly, we're the minority. It just seems so much of what you say about the Imperium is entirely negative. It might sound that way. For all our faults, my people have many virtues. We are laden with history and culture. Devinta is where Thedas truly began, remember? We treasure our past and preserve it. You can walk down a side street during the modern ages. And despite appearances, we care deeply about everything. We have no reserve, not in war, and not in love. If I truly believed my homeland was beyond all hope, I wouldn't miss it so much. Why remain with the Inquisition? Why not go back to Devinter? <laughs> I'm not exactly welcome back home. Not that it matters, I'm quite accustomed to being a pariah. It adds to my charm. I can do more for Devinter here. If the Venatori succeed, It'll set my homeland back a thousand years. I'm sure some Magisters would disagree. But that's why we killed them. I think I've heard enough. That's too bad. I never tire of talking about myself. I'd like to ask you about Tevinter. Ah, yes. Everyone outside the Imperium always seems quite fascinated by it. Probably why they come up with so many ridiculous tales. Flying cows over Minrathus. That's <laughs> madness. All right, that one's actually true, but the cows didn't have wings. I digress. Anything in particular you wanted to know? I'm wondering if the Imperium would be a useful ally. I think you'd be more concerned whether or not they'd support the Venatori. They won't. At least, not officially. They'll disavow all knowledge of dangerous cultists. Secretly, many Magisters will rejoice at the idea. And if the South falls to chaos in the meantime, all the better. It would be in the Imperium's best interest to help. Surely it could use allies. I think the Imperium gave up on the idea of allies a long time ago. We've been fighting the Canari for what? 200 years off and on? It's a point of pride that we go it alone. They'll sneer at the South behind their silk handkerchiefs and say, you've had it easy for far too long. Let's not forget that the Inquisition seems to be an arm of the Orlesian Chantry. Anathema so far as they're concerned. We're not part of the Chantry. The Chantry opposed the Inquisition's formation. You think that matters? Don't be silly. The Herald of Andraste. Your very title smacks of the Southern Chantry. You may as well be a heathen. I think they're far more frightened what you'll do if you succeed. There's an Imperial Chantry, isn't there? With its own divine? You people aren't supposed to talk about the Black Divine, are you? If you mention him outside the Imperium, people make that face. Like you're urinating in public. But yes, we do have the Chantry. Or a version of it. Night and day comparing it to yours. Is the Imperial Chantry so different from ours? Not in theory. The main difference is in the whole magic is meant to serve man, not rule over in business. Back home, ruling the unwashed masses is serving them, for the good of the Imperium. Perhaps it started with good intentions, but these days it's academic. The Circles are in command. There are Circles of Magi in the Imperium? We don't have dismal little mage prisons, if that's what you mean. They're academies, prestigious ones. We have Templars as well, but they don't cancel spells or whatever your Templars do. They're soldiers, 
They watch for abuse of magic, yes, but only those who are weak or who fall out of favor get dealt with. Mostly they enforce the Magisterium's edicts. The Chantry smiles and nods from the sidelines. Do you really call him the Black Divine? <laughs> we don't call him that, oh no. In the Imperium, he's the true Divine. The woman sitting on the Sunburst throne is some backwater pretender. It all stems from a disagreement over Andraste. Marvelous, isn't it? Why would they disagree over Andraste? It's not my field of expertise, but the Imperium believes Andraste was a mortal woman, a maid. Down south, they say, no, she's the bride of the Maker, ascended to his side, divine provenance, a blah, blah, blah. We feel better believing Andreste was one of us. Makes executing her less damning, you see. So we elected a man as divine, the south declared war, and we've been feuding cousins ever since. So the imperial divine is always a man? All the better to distinguish him from that other one, yes. Don't think there aren't a number of female magisters who bristle at that. Why can't they be divine after all? Same reason you never see a man on the sunburst throne. Because that's how it's always been done. Excellent reasoning. Do you consider yourself Andrastian? Ah. The big question. It might surprise you that I do consider myself Andrastian. I simply do not believe in the Chantry. It is a relic, whether back home or here in the south. Something from a bygone age desperately clinging to relevance. It's not an opinion that makes me popular. I share your opinion, actually. That's not surprising, considering what the Inquisition represents. I'll say this. I may not believe in the Chantry, but I believe in you. In me? that the Maker sent you, whether through Andraste or Faith. Cassandra is not wrong. You are what we needed most at the moment we needed it. That's what they will say in ages to come. That's true. I feel the same. My, someone's full of themselves, aren't they? I was just agreeing with you. Don't agree on my account. A little doubt wouldn't harm the Herald of Andraste. Me? I've seen too much to believe I know everything. The world is bigger than I, even bigger than you. It laughs at all the things we think we know. The Maker doesn't need me to believe, but I do. The thought of no one at all watching out for us is too frightening. Let me ask you something else. So many questions. It seems strange that an entire empire would be ruled by mages. I find it strange that your mages don't rule anything at all. <laughs> Actually, the fiction in the Imperium is that mages don't rule. The Magisterium rules. That Magisters are all Mages is considered a convenient technicality. What is the Magisterium, exactly? The upper house of the Imperial Senate, and the only part worth having a seat on. Those seats are split among the circles of Magi, the Chantry, and the Major families. All Majors now. <laughs> it's odd that outside the Imperium, you use Magister like it applies to every Tevinter Mage. If you're not a Magister, then what do you call? No special title? I'm an Altus, which is almost as good as a Magister, depending on who you ask. I've never heard of an Altus. Upper class. Those families who trace descent from the Dreamers, the first prophets of the old gods. If you're a mage and you're not Altus, then you're later, lower class. If you're not a mage at all, you're Soferati, that's everyone else. I do love our fancy words. I thought the Archon ruled over the Imperium. Well, yes. Technically, he can overrule laws passed by the Magisterium, but that never happens. 
Even so, he gets to appoint new magisters, which means all the families vie madly for his favor. Thus, the Archon gets invited to all the parties. The truest path to Tevinter influence, let me tell you. If it's a fiction, that means mages do rule, then. Yes, and no. Let me put it this way. Mages do rule, but not all mages are equal. If you're not from the right family, chances are you don't rule anything. Maybe you're even a slave. The idea that anyone could be a mage, however, keeps the masses placated. Can anyone be a mage? Technically. The potential runs mostly in bloodlines, but it's been known to happen. More importantly, commoners believe it can. Divinta legend is chock full of mage heroes from humble origins. So they hold out hope. Someday my son or my son's son will be a mage. Someday. Poor sods don't realize that means he'll be a quaestor at the arse end of the hundred pillars. At best. Being a quaestor isn't a good thing. I imagine the average non-mage likes to think so. Counting numbers and shuffling papers all day is better than many occupations after all. If you're a second-class citizen among a pack of piranha, however, your outlook changes. But let me ask you something else. Of course. Just how often is blood magic used there? Oh, not at all. Not at all. That's what any magister would tell you. They'd be convincingly offended by the notion too. Of course, what people call blood magic here, and what we consider blood magic, are two different things. What's considered actual blood magic in Tevinter? Blood magic isn't inherently dangerous. Using your own blood or that of a willing participant, what's the harm? The problem is that what's permitted only gets you so much power. And what if you need more? You always need more. That's where we get into sacrifices and demon summoning. None of that is done. Not officially. Behind closed doors, it's a different story. Real blood magic can give you an edge. A leg up against your opponents. It's safe to assume that any mage of rank does it. The rest are quietly shut out of power. You'd think the Templars would object. I imagine they did, long ago. Once, their investigations might have been sincere. Then their balls were cut off. Too inconvenient. Nowadays, only the friendless are accused. And most of them probably innocent. There must be some mages who oppose this. Of course. I do. And I'm not entirely alone. Occasionally, there'll be a magister who makes noise. And then the reform talk begins. All very patriotic. Meanwhile, that magister will be quietly shunned. Chances are, surprise, it's learned he was a Maleficar all along. Most learned to keep quiet. Me? <laughs> I enjoy the allure of pariahood. Anyone who talks about the Imperium mentions slavery. It's the center of the slave trade. Ah. That is true. And did you have slaves? Not personally, but my family does and treats them well. Honestly, I never thought much about it until I came south. Back home, it's... how it is. Slaves are everywhere. You don't question it. I'm not even certain many slaves do. Well, we don't have slaves in the south. In the south, you have alienages, slums, both human and elven. The desperate have no way out. Back home, a poor man can sell himself. As a slave, he could have a position of respect, comfort, and could even support a family. Some slaves are treated poorly, it's true. But do you honestly think inescapable poverty is better? I suppose not, no. I don't know what it's like to be a slave, true. I never thought about it until I saw how different it was here. But I suspect you don't know either. Nor should you believe that every tale of Tevinter excess is the norm. That's all I wanted to know. Fair enough. I'm curious why you were in Redcliffe in the first place. Looking up an old mentor of mine. 
A magister by the name of Alexius. Good fellow. Always thought highly of him. Then one day, he asks me to join the Venatori. I don't know what he was thinking. He knew I wanted to change to Vinter, not regress it into prehistoric madness. The Venatori killed Alexius once he stopped being useful. Seems odd he would get involved with the Venatori at all. That's what I thought. I'd hoped to persuade him to leave Redcliffe. I suppose he had his reasons. People will do odd things when they're strung over a barrel. Either that, or I didn't really know Alexius at all. I should go. Here I thought we were just getting to the good part. What's on your mind? I should go. Naturally. Greetings to you, Inquisitor. I am to serve as assistant to any research concerns. You will find my skills are exceptional. I hope they prove useful. As you were. Yes, Inquisitor. The names of those we lost. You must blame me for this. Those deaths are on your hands. It was your job to watch, to prepare us. Yes, it was my fault. But how was I to know what we really faced? The Red Templars are like nothing I've seen, and the Venatori hide their tracks well. I keep wondering if I could have done something different. When the first of my lookouts went missing, I pulled the rest back, awaiting more information. If they'd stayed in the field, they could have bought us more time. I was afraid to lose my agents, and instead we lost Haven. You will be prepared next time. I won't let this happen again. My people know their duty, they know the risks. They understand that the Inquisition may call upon them to give their lives. True. They're our soldiers. They'll do what we need them to. If Corypheus is cold, I must be colder. War demands sacrifices of us all. Our agents have encountered more followers of Corypheus, these so-called Venatori. Their leader, Calpernia, has them searching elven ruins. For what, I do not know. I propose we stop the Venatori before they find what they seek. Do you know anything about Calpurnia? Only that Calpurnia is a name from ancient Tevinter legend. An unusual one. She was a priestess of Dumat, foster mother to the founder of the Imperium. A name like that is meant to assure the Venatori they follow in the footsteps of legends. We must prove them wrong. Alpernia must be up to something. Corypheus doesn't seem the type to suffer idleness. I will not let her and Corypheus take us unawares again. These Venatori have been shadowing a merchant called Vicinius on Calpurnia's orders. They've investigated his finances, surveyed his warehouses. I propose that you meet with Vicinius. Flatter him. Find out what he knows of Calpurnia. Vicinius sounds like a Tevinter name. Born in Tallow. Although he claims to be from Virantium, he sells rare oils and amber, and prefers red wine to white. What side of the bed does he sleep on? He's unremarkable. I cannot think why Calpurnia would care. What if Vicinius is as much in the dark as we are? It never hurts to eliminate an avenue of inquiry. And we should tread lightly with the Venatori. They have contacts and spies, just as we do. The sooner you speak with Vicinius, the better.
If flattery doesn't work, I'll try something stronger. As bards say, begin with the sweetest verse. Vicinius could be a most helpful friend. I'll make arrangements for you to visit his summer home in Val Rayo. Hopefully, your attention should be enough to pique his interest. We'll have Calpinia's secrets yet. Inquisitor? The Divine's death hit you hard. How have you been feeling? Oh, you are referring to my outburst in the Haven. I... I am much better now. Justinia was such a dear friend and... There were so many things going wrong. Let's just move on. It's best that way. You're right, Inquisitor. Anything I should know? It seems that the Olesian army is awaiting our next move. Some of the generals are sympathetic to our cause. Others are still suspicious. Our actions are under a great deal of scrutiny. Anything I should know? I have agents stationed by the ruins of Haven, should Corypheus or his lackeys return. So far, nothing, and the breach has been quiet for some time. There is something, at least. Anything I should know? Having the Templars join the Inquisition has done wonders for our reputation. The people trust the Templars, and now they trust us. Anything I should know? Having the Templars join... The people trust the Templars. I'll leave you to your work. Sister Leliana will want access to the bird. Maker, you're a mess. Let me have a look at you. Are you all right, my dear? Were you hurt? You look dreadful. I'll be fine, don't worry. You bear it well. Good. The troops will take their cue from your composure. Now, let's keep up appearances. You've handled this crisis competently, saving as many lives as you did. But the enemy struck a serious blow against you and the Inquisition. We must recognize that. You must. You're wrong. We now have a better location and far more people at our disposal. This couldn't have worked out better if I'd planned it. Yet we can hardly rely upon the whims of Providence to give us all our victories. This defeat may have turned to our advantage, but it will not last long. Our enemy advances, Inquisitor. We must not sit idly by. Act first, and teach them to fear us. I think you know what needs to be done, my dear. Do you need something, my dear? Do you think that you and I might someday 
My dear, you are delightful, but that's quite impossible. So, this is Skyhold. Come, let's walk the ramparts. I want to examine our fortifications. We'll be able to see Corypheus coming from miles away. He's not going to get the better of us again. We lost good soldiers that day, loyal men and women. Let him come. I swear I'll take the Twister Bastard down, even if I have to die to do it. Watch that this enthusiasm of yours doesn't get you killed. I wouldn't be the first to die in your service. The people flock to your banner, eager to fight for the Herald of Andraste. Their faith is a leash, and your Inquisition has taken hold of it. Tell me honestly, are you what they say you are? Andraste's chosen. I was chosen by Andraste. She saved me. We shouldn't question it. All right. I'll take it on faith that she saw something in you that I haven't. someone's face. I imagine it makes trusting others risky. It's best to rely on yourself. People are selfish. A lonely way to exist, but practical. I cannot fault you for it. It's easy to speak well of trust when yours has never been misplaced. I want to hear more about you. Where I'm from, talking about yourself with strangers is considered rude. I'll have to decline. How much do you know about Corypheus? Not much. I always thought the stories of Magisters corrupting the Golden City were just that. Stories. I didn't expect them to be true, and I certainly didn't expect to find one of them still alive. Don't the Grey Wardens know everything about Darkspawn? You don't have to know how a Darkspawn came to be in order to kill it with soldiers, not historians. And the world would be better off if people focused on defeating evil rather than explaining how it came to be. Corypheus stopped being human a long time ago. Darkspawn don't have human lifespans, do they? No, I suppose they don't. They're unnatural and sustained by evil. It's been thousands of years. You'd think the Wardens would have managed to kill the first Darkspawn by now. Do you know if there are more Darkspawn like Corypheus? I don't know. I'm not sure any Warden knows. Let's discuss something else. What do you think of the Inquisition? If we mobilized all the Inquisition's forces, Thedas itself would shake beneath our feet. We should return to our duties. As you wish. You are, after all, in charge. So, Inquisitor. It's Inquisitor now, right? Remember that war we talked about stopping? Full of little badges I can stick with little arrows. That's not a friggin' archdemon, is it? Draste, what do I step in? Maybe nobody saw this coming, but you knew how I got the job. I know what people said, but people believe all sorts of shite when they're scared. Swear at a farmer and you've cursed his crops. Spill the salt and you're dead by dawn. Dance through town in a goat's head and children, people never had, go missing.
You're confusing me now. What are you getting at? Archdemons, real enough. Fine. But if that Carithi thing is true, the Magister's really cracked the Black City. It's a hazy dream, right? I mean, if it's real, real, then the seat of the Maker? Real thing. A seat needs a book, so the Maker? Real thing. Fairy stories about the start and end of the world? Real things. It's too far, isn't it? I just want to plug the Skyhole rubbish so I can go play. You joined to help the little people caught up in this. But do you believe or not? In Andras Day? Of course. But you doubt what you're seeing and hearing. It can't be true, true. Even fanatics don't want to be this right. Look, I have arrows. I can make this Carifalus believe in those. Good enough? Please be good enough. I'm fighting Magisters. I need you aiming higher than simple selfishness. Lumpy wants to be a god, and you glow or something. I just want to fix things so I don't have to think about what's real or not. High enough, my lord? Just be useful. Ugh, the people I have to work with. I know, right? Good luck with this lot. But I'll be here. Now, where's food? Your wishes, something, something. Are things playing out the way you expected? Cassandra laid it out, right? You're the big hat now. Gonna make everything the way it should be. The praying's nice, I suppose. Corypheus bit, though. Shite. Corypheus. The rift's in there. Corypheus. Sack splash. I know his name. Doesn't deserve the respect of me saying it, does he? So you like to have fun. The Inquisition seems an odd fit. Why are you really here? What do you mean? To help people. You're mostly a criminal. Helping is only a side effect. So? Some people don't even help by accident. I've got questions, right? And all this stuff is going on with the Chantry. Andraste. But it's... fuzzy. I want to see if it's all really real. I just don't know if I want to really know. So I'm selfish. It's all for me. Count yourself lucky, I guess. I'll be back if I need you. Go on. Inquisitor, huh? Well, you've got the fortress for it. Speaking of which, when you've got a second, there's something I want to show you. What did you want me to come see? Here, come on. I'll show you. Why am I dressed like this? You'll see. Come on. It'll be worth your time, I promise. Evening. Iron Bull. My merc band just joined up. Tanner. I'm from Jader. Well, Mir Jader. Mira. I was guard captain for Lady Pendel. Signed on after shit blew up at the Conclave. Share a drink? Who's your friend? This is Grim. He doesn't talk much. Ah. Uh. So, you ready to kill some demons? Or Venatori, or whatever that Corypheus asshole is? This isn't just about killing. We're helping the Inquisitor save the world and build the next empire. As I get paid, I'm happy. That's why I signed up. I just couldn't spend my whole life on a farm. Needed to live a little, you know. What about you, Mira? Why'd you join up? I thought you were serving some noble. I saw what happened at Haven. The Inquisitor staring down that monster and his archdemon. 
I don't sing the chant of light as much as I should, but you can't see something like that and not believe. Well, Grim and I should find our tents. Thanks for the drink. I know every soldier under my command. You don't have that option, but a few faces might help. You made it sound like you didn't like the Inquisition. People don't always tell the truth when you're polite. You've got to poke them a bit. But those two soldiers might think you're an asshole. So? I knew some of the soldiers felt like that, but to actually hear it... It's hard to be just an idea sometimes. That's all you are to most of them. It's why you could stand right in front of them without being recognized. You've got a good army coming along. Remember that, no matter what comes next. Praise the Maker, this fortress keeps us safe. Send men to scout the area. We need to know what's out there. Yes, sir. Commander, soldiers have been assigned temporary quarters. Very good. I'll need an update on the armory as well. Now! We set up as best we could at Haven, but could never prepare for an archdemon, or whatever it was. With some warning, we might have... Is everything all right? If Corythia strikes again, we may not be able to withdraw. And I wouldn't want to. We must be ready. Work on Skyhold is underway. Guard rotations established. We should have everything on course within the week. We will not run from here, Inquisitor. How many were lost? Most of our people made it to Skyhold. It could have been worse. Morale was low, but it's improved greatly since you accepted the role of Inquisitor. You report to me now. Would that be a problem? I was brought on to oversee the Inquisition's forces and offer military advice. That hasn't changed. We needed a leader, and you have proven yourself. can be no mistakes this time. I understand. At least we know what we must face. I will do everything I can to ensure the security of our people. You have my word.
Inquisitor? What do you think of the people you work with? Who do you mean? How do you like working with Liliana? The Inquisition would not exist without her. I may not always agree with her methods. Cassandra may have declared the Inquisition publicly. But I should let you get... This thing is not a stray puppy you can make into a pet. It has no business being here. Wouldn't you say the same of an apostate? Inquisitor, I wondered if Cole was perhaps a mage, given his unusual abilities. He can cause people to forget him, or even fail entirely to notice him. These are not the abilities of a mage. It seems that Cole is a spirit. It is a demon. If you prefer, although the truth is somewhat more complex. I will have nothing to do with demons. In fairness, Cole helped you against the Envy Demon. You agreed to let him stay, even knowing his odd nature. That was before we knew what it was. Honoring deals with demons is a swift path to an early grave. In fact, his nature is not so easily defined. Speak plainly, Solas. What are we dealing with? Demons normally enter this world by possessing something. In their true form, they look bizarre, monstrous. But Cole looks like a young man. Could it be possession? No. He has possessed nothing and no one. And yet he appears human in all respects. Cole is unique, Inquisitor. More than that, he wishes to help. I suggest you allow him to do so. What do you mean by possession? Spirits and demons cross over from the Fade by attaching themselves to something in this world. But Cole has willfully manifested in human form without possessing anyone. The demons who came through the breach, or through the rifts, weren't possessing anything. These demons were drawn through against their will, driven mad by this world. But Cole predates the breach. From what we can tell, he has lived here for months, perhaps years. He looks like a young man. For all intents and purposes, he is a young man. It is remarkable. I should hear what Cole has to say for himself. Where is he now? He was right... Haven. So many soldiers fought to protect the pilgrims so they could escape. I can't think from the medicine, but the cuts rack me with every heartbeat. Hot, white, pain. Everything burns. I can't. I can't. I'm going to... I'm dying. I I'm... Dead. Get out of their heads! They're in mine. Every breath slower, like lying in a warm bath, sliding away. Smell of my daughter's hair when I kiss her goodnight. Gone. Cracked brown pain, dry, scraping, thirsty. Here. You. It's all right. She won't remember me. Demons have the power to cloud people's minds. Yes. I used to think I was a ghost. I didn't know. I made mistakes. 
But I made friends, too. Then a Templar proved I wasn't real. I lost my friends. I lost everything. I learned how to be more like what I am. It made me different, but stronger. I can feel more. I can help. If you're willing, the Inquisition could use your help. Yes, helping. I help the hurt, the helpless. There's someone. Hurts, it hurts, it hurts. Someone make it stop hurting. Make her, please. The healers have done all they can. It will take him hours to die. Every moment will be agony. He wants mercy. Help. It's all right. I want to stay. He hates it all because of the darkness behind the door. Some doors should stay shut. I'd like to talk about what happened to you before we met. Before you, Reese was my friend. He showed me I was wrong to kill the mages. I thought I was helping them. Then he and Evangeline went to Adamant, and I went with them. I was worried Evangeline would hurt Reese. We found out dangerous things. It scared Seeker Lambert, and he scared the mages. It started the rebellion. Seeker Lambert told me what I was. Reese couldn't look at me. I ran until I found more Templars. That's all. I'll talk to you later. How do you know? Scout Harding. Your worship. Shouldn't you be out there scouting? In a bit. We're in Skyhold for supplies and a change of personnel. Not me, though. Indispensable. <laughs> So who's Scout Harding, really? Me? Oh, I'm no one. Lived near Redcliffe all my life. Herded sheep for my neighbor. When the Inquisition came through my village, I helped by telling them everything I knew about the area. Then I signed on. Wanted to see the world before it was swallowed up by... that... thing out there. I should go.
Inquisitor, meet Hawk, the champion of Kirkwall. Though I don't use that title much anymore. Hawk, the Inquisitor. I figured you might have some friendly advice about Corypheus. You and I did fight him, after all. You've already dropped half a mountain on the bastard. I'm sure anything I can tell you pales in comparison. Whatever you know helps. Corypheus will keep killing people until he gets what he wants. And he wants to be a god. I suppose you'd better stop him, then. You're right. That does pale in comparison. <sighs> all right. All right. I'll tell you what I know. For whatever good it does. Varric said that you fought Corypheus before. Fought and killed. The Grey Wardens were holding him. And he somehow used his connection to the Darkspawn to influence them. Corypheus got into their heads, messed with their minds, turned them against each other. If the Wardens have disappeared, they could have fallen under his control again. You're giving me maybes. I need proof. Then let's get you some. I've got a friend in the Wardens. He was investigating something unrelated for me. His name is Stroud. The last time we spoke, he was worried about corruption in the Warden ranks. Since then, nothing. Corypheus would certainly qualify as corruption in the ranks. Did your friend disappear with them? No. He told me he'd be hiding in an old smuggler's cave near Crestwood. If you didn't know about Corypheus, what were you doing with the Wardens? The Templars in Kirkwall were using a strange form of lyrium. It was red. I'd hoped the Wardens could tell me more about it. We've encountered red lyrium. Corypheus was using it to corrupt the Templars and turn them into his slaves. Hopefully, my friend in the Wardens will know more. If Corypheus has corrupted the Wardens, it may be too late to save them. I understand. I'll do whatever's necessary to stop him. Corypheus is my responsibility. I thought I'd killed him before. This time I'll make sure of it. Inquisitor. We'll talk later. I'll meet you at Crestwood. You knew where Hawk was all along. You're damned right I did. You conniving little shit. You kidnapped me. You interrogated me. What did you expect? I expected you to tell the truth. I told you what was at stake. So I just hand her over on your say-so? It's okay, Hawk. This zealot isn't crazy. I promise. <sighs> Look at her. She's finally lost it. We needed someone to lead this Inquisition. First, Liliana and I searched for the hero of Ferelden, but she had vanished. Then, we looked for Hawk. But she was gone, too. We thought it all connected, but no. It was just you. You who kept her from us. The Inquisition has a leader. Hawk would have been at the Conclave if anyone could have saved Most Holy...
You did that out of spite? I was protecting my friend. Varric is a liar, Inquisitor. A snake. Even after the Conclave, when we needed Hawk most, Varric kept her secret. She's with us now. We're on the same side. We all know whose side you're on, Varric. It will never be the Inquisition's. You don't need to tell me that. Oh, like I have no reasons to help the Inquisition finish this. For the moment. Fine. For the moment, I'd like to do what I can. I must not think of what could have been. We have so much at stake. Go, Varric. Just go. You know what I think? If Hawk had been at the temple, she'd be dead too. You people have done enough to her. I believed him. He spun his story for me and I swallowed it. If I'd just explained what was at stake, if I'd just made him understand. But I didn't, did I? I didn't explain why we needed Hawk. I'm such a fool. Good thing I still like you. I'm serious. You think I'm not? I want you to know. I have no regrets. Maybe if we'd found Hawk or the hero of Ferelden, the Maker wouldn't have needed to send you. But he did. You're not what I'd pictured. But if I've learned anything, it's that I know less than nothing. Here comes the hero of our age. Mighty tamer of the Order of Templars. Once lowly prisoner, now the fabled herald of Andraste. A toast to you, my lord. Sitting in a dark corner, drinking. Yes! What of it? It's pathetic. You! I have watched you, even exalted you as you straddle the world. And I'm the one who raised you up. You didn't raise me up. The Maker did. Praise the Maker and his infinite wisdom. Corythia still lives. My work is not yet done. Leave me be, Inquisitor. Go, do what you must.
Something is troubling me, Inquisitor. Leliana is receiving reports of mages becoming possessed. Templars going rogue. No one is dealing with these matters. I was hoping we might, before they get worse. That isn't the Inquisition's job, Cassandra. The Inquisition will undoubtedly encounter some of these things at any rate. I merely suggest that we are the only ones equipped to deal with them. I will mark these incidents on the map as I learn of them. Do as you will, Inquisitor. I have some more questions. Why am I not surprised? Tell me about your brother. I'd rather not. I'll let you get back to work. Go on, then. Do you have any advice for me? Tell that demon. What does it call itself? Cole. Tell it to leave. He may not mean harm, but that does not mean he will not harm us. Spirits are not creatures to take at face value. Be cautious with him, Inquisitor. That's enough for now. As you wish. Greetings. What do the people make of us? Despite our fame, we're low on steadfast allies. We must aim for more. Let's speak later. Another time. How are the rescue efforts? Have they found anyone alive? Excavation is slow, as you can imagine.
right. Inquisitor.
Shall we have a look around? Your worship. These must be the wolves Master Dennett's wife warned us about. So it was just you, alone in the vast wilderness. What are you on about? The lone wanderer searching the world. What's he trying to find? Love? Absolution? Try someone with a strong arm and stronger will to fight Darkspawn. Yes, but what does that represent? Wanting to kill more Darkspawn. Ah, you're just like Sebastian.
That cave could be the lair of these strange wolves. Farmers should be safe now. Well, they might still lose a few sheep here and there, but that's wolves for you.
Tori. What were they after? Nothing to report, sir. There must be something here.
impressive tower. I wonder what it held. I think the Inquisition could benefit from this. Someone emptied a whole bag of turnips into the fire. 
Oh, Mecca, the smell is everywhere. I was going to use them for dinner and then. I can't recall who took them. Standards. That'll guide the dragon right in. Impressive, is it not? Fit for a leader, meant to show influence and the burden of it. It is where the Inquisition will sit in judgment. Where you will sit in judgment. Who will I be judging, exactly? Those who have done wrong. You will know of them, at the very least. All this presumes they have survived their initial encounter with you, of course. Will we be taking heads right here in the hall? Goodness, no! If such an option is available, it will be done elsewhere. And it may not be necessary. The Inquisition's sovereignty is derived from the allies who validate it. You are both empowered and bound. Justice has many tools. If their application is clever, execution may even seem merciful by comparison. Is there anyone I should judge? Take the throne when you're ready. We will bring him before you. Knight Captain Denham, Inquisitor. He awaits judgment for serving the Lord's Seeker at Theron Fall Redoubt. I knew some of the knights who died there. I asked to oversee his sentencing. The Envy Demon perhaps fooled the Knight Captain, but following his superior's orders nearly destroyed the Templars. I hope the Knight Captain is lucid enough to understand what he's done. I only did as I was told. Knowingly or not, you condemned your brothers and sisters to death. You would have done the same if you hadn't abandoned the Order. I served faithfully. It went red after what the Lord Seeker told me to do. You tried to deny the Inquisition. Now you'll aid it. Assign the captain to a patrol, and have him lead us to the Lord Seeker's Red Templars. Yes, thank you. I can serve. Certainly spared no expense.
Inquisitor? The Arcanist has arrived? You should see for yourself. there well don't just stand there slack jawed let's figure out what you need The magical advisor? Oh, you're him, the Inquisitor. I'm Dagna, Arcanist Dagna. It's an honor, Your Worship. Is that it? The hand anchor mark? It's pretty. And the breach was pretty too, in a destroy everything sort of way. not quite what I was expecting. You're a Dwarven Arcanist? The only one. When you learn things everyone says you can't, you get to be the first. I don't need to tell you. I've looked at Herod's devices. The precision is fantastic, but typical. Mundane. Old thinking. You support now? No disrespect meant to the classical trades, but you need a new perspective. I've made adjustments. As long as I keep making them, you can craft just about anything. Almost safely. You seemed impressed by the anchor. What does it look like to you? I heard what everyone says what you heard Corypheus say. That's a long chain of who said what. To me, it says key. But keys do a lot of things. Open, lock, switch. Some open one thing, some open everything. It sounds like Corypheus made it to open. But it looks like you can use it to close. It may be that simple. It sure is pretty. Wish I could see through it.
Hello, Inquisitor. Honored to help with these, whatever they are. Have I told you how much I like the throne you placed in the Great Hall? The Chantry symbolism adds just the right touch. I just let Josephine pick whatever she wants. There's wisdom in knowing when to defer to someone else's expertise, Inquisitor. And appearances are important. We can't have you mistaken for a commoner. I suppose it's important to show that we're an authority to be respected. Not just respected, my dear. Awed, feared, aspired to. You command an army of the faithful, outfitted by the coin of the nobility. You must be a man who the common folk aspire to be and to whom the nobility bow. My actions will inspire them. Appearances don't matter. It would be a lovely world if we were all judged purely on our conduct, my dear. But it would not be this world. As the stories of the Inquisition spread, more and more people will wonder if you are the man they say you are. They will question what they've heard, but they will believe what they see. They must see someone greater than legends. If that's your standard for me, what does the Divine have to live up to? Andraste and the Maker cast very large shadows. The Divine absolutely must set the example for all Thedas. She must seem to be the embodiment of the Maker to the Faithful. She needs the authority of the Maker and the charisma of Andraste. It will be no small task to fill that vacant throne. Did you need something, darling? Do you think that you and I might someday... Oh, aren't you precious? Of course not, my dear. Can you arrange what we discussed earlier, Ambassador? I found the money. The Inquisition will compensate the families of those we lost at Haven. Thank you. Let us begin.
every dwarf likes caves. This must be one of the supply caches Recruit Whittle wished us to find. Better and better. What can't we do in a place like this? Where's my other hand? Right there.
ready for anything, Inquisitor. I'll see you later, Dagna. I can't wait. Welcome back. If you say so. What do you mean? If you say so. I... I suppose you're right. I could feed half this camp if the hills weren't full of demons. Here, maybe this will help more than helps. With this, I can fill these hungry bellies, give these folks some hope. I didn't think much of the Inquisition, but no one else is helping like you lot. Maybe I was wrong. What did I tell you? Thank you. 